TNT Run, also known as the Running on TNT minigame. Whenever you step on a TNT block, it will disappear, most of the time. We'll get to that later. The main goal of TNT Run is to be the last one standing whilst avoiding falling down. <laughs> to aid you of this, you've been given a double jump ability. Whilst holding the feather and right clicking, you'll be sent up a layer. Don't try and imitate Icarus though. You don't get to fly up that hop. You only get to use this ability four times though. But don't fret, there's a 7.5% chance of regaining a double jump at the beginning of each event. Events occur every 30 to 60 seconds. There are eight different events. The first one we'll cover is bow. You're given a bow that launches explosive arrows, destroying TNT blocks wherever they land. You can also shoot people, but... Speed. You go fast. Like... Minesweeper. Unfortunately, this arena was set up in Bosnia. There is now a 10% chance of the TNT blocks you step on to ignite and blow up nearby TNT blocks. Missiles will fall down onto the arena, blowing up TNT blocks once they make impact. TNT will spawn above the first three layers, adding more blocks onto the arena. Instead of disappearing, any TNT block you run on will fall down onto the next layer. TNT blocks around the arena will randomly start to jump and shuffle themselves. Pretty funny if you ask me. Alright, I think that's all of them. Wait, wait, what? TNT Run is a classic Minecraft minigame. Reimagine of some goofy ideas. The main goal of TNT Run is to dig below people to drop them to lower layers, and eventually to the bottom, where they DIE. This is the rarest event, and also, while Spleef is active, the TNT stops disappearing below your feet. Okay gamers, that's all you need to know about running a top of explosive blocks minigame. There may or may not be a feature added where the top platform is non-existent depending on how many players are in the game. But yeah, okay, bye.